a nerdy black man. So I love nerdy black men. I want to date and marry a nerdy black man. Nerdy black men are so hard to come across. Either all the nerdy black guys are just on their own planet somewhere, just playing video games, you know, reading books, you know, going to work and then coming home, going to the gym or whatever. Some of them are just not interested in black girls. Or they just assume that black girls are not interested in them. Like, all these guys be on, like, Manosphere podcasts and all these guys be on the internet and all these guys, even some in person, be like, well, you know, all black girls are not interested in me or whatever. And it's like, hello! Nerdy black girl here! You know, I don't want to date a black girl because there's no nerdy black girls. Like, black girls don't like me. But it's like when y'all come across a nerdy black girl, y'all don't take her. Y'all don't, y'all don't take her. Y'all don't want to date her. I'm just here like, what is up? Like, it's like nerdy black girls and nerdy black guys need to just rule the world together and just get together already. Seeing this little uprising of everyone talking about, oh, I want a corny. I want a corny. Sis, you can't handle a corny. As soon as he starts speaking a high Valerian or start doing a Naruto run, you're not going to get it. You're not going to understand. You've been dealing with a bunch of futures and now, unfortunately, they've turned you into a future. So you're going to run into this fine specimen that you have declared a corny and you ain't going to know what to do with him. What you going to do when he pull out his katana sword, sis? Tell your friends he wear the shit. <laughs> Why is he deemed corny? Because he don't want to go out and club 24 seven because he may not indulge in drugs and drinking and stuff. This man may not understand why you behave the way you do too. Why you're arguing in the comments in the shade room with people you don't know. This is unfathomable for him. He's not going to get it, sis. He's not going to understand why you in Spice Gang showing you. He's not going to get it. Leave them to their tribe. Don't be out here trying to do a whole bunch of extra, especially if you're closed minded. <laughs> Black Ram 313 back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. <laughs> I got to laugh, man. I got to laugh. Now you want the corny guy and the nerd guy. Is it desperation or cap? Let me give you my thoughts on this, man. <laughs> wow. Uh, it don't stop, man. I mean, it does not stop. It, it changes every day. Wasn't it Michael B. Jordan uh, that was being criticized for being that corny dude, that reliable dude, that respectable dude that no one wanted, right? Now, there are people coming out of woodwork saying that we want corny and nerdy. I do not believe it. I don't believe you. You need more people. No. All cap, baby. All cap. Let me get into it. Let me explain. So you want a corny guy. Do you even know what that means? You want a guy that's a nerd. Do you even know what that means? You want the opposite of the goal. Do you know what that means? That means you are asking for, looking for, requesting. Yeah, look behind my back. This is the shot. Uh, you are requesting a guy that probably pays all of his bills on time. Mm. A guy that's reliable, a guy that's consistent, a guy that goes to work every day, probably have 10, 15, 20 years on a job. You're looking for a guy who doesn't get into mischief, uh, goes to bed at the same time every night because this is what mature, reliable, hardworking people do. Maybe stay up a little bit on the weekend, but that's it. That whole spontaneity stuff that you claim to love, that kind of goes out the door when you're a reliable, mature, responsible, nerdy, corny guy. Reliability because of responsibility. You don't want that. Come on now, you don't really want that, do you? That's called boring, right? Do you know what you're really asking for for the so-called nerd, so-called corny guy? Do you know what you're getting? You're not gonna get the guy who has problems paying his bills if he has them. That's what you like. You like the guy that either lives with his mama or with you. So you can have all of that power and authority. You don't want the guy who has his own. No, 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 no. You want the guy that just might call you 
because he got locked up. You don't want the guy that's going to call you at nine o'clock saying good night because he's about to go to bed because he got to go to work in the morning. You don't want that. That's boring. You want a guy that maybe have to hustle to get a dollar, not that consistent paycheck, because again, that's boring. All cap. And a nerd? I mean, did you really say a nerd? Oh, come on now. Come on. Do you know what you're asking for when you say you want a nerd? You might get a guy who knows something about and is interested in quantum physics and mechanics and the theories associated with those. You don't want to talk about string theory. You don't want to talk about M theory. No, you don't want to talk about that. You might have a guy who's interested in seeing a particle accelerator. Here in Chicago, um, it's home to two um, places uh, that's key and instrumental in the scientific community. One is called Argonne National Laboratories. They do a lot of research in the scientific community and also Fermilab. Now, I've been to these places to see a particle accelerator. Amazing stuff, man. Woo! You know, I, I, I like... Uh, the study of subatomic particles, uh, and I like cosmology. Beautiful subjects, fields that I've always been interested in, I've always been a science buff, always loved it, um, always loved astronomy and all of those things. Do you really want to go on a date to see a particle accelerate and listen to a lecture about quantum physics? A guy that's corny or nerve might be into Marvel. Well, why would you be into Marvel? Simply, right? Because Marvel is heavy. DC a little bit as well, but Marvel is heavy on science. What is that? Um, uh, Dr. Pym, uh, Reed Richards, um, uh, Dr. Doom, right? Um, even Spider-Man, Peter Parker, scientist, right? <laughs> yeah. So a lot of guys love Marvel because it's so heavy on science and uh, scientific theories and possibilities, man. And even have um, cosmic entities in the Marvel universe that cause you and raises all kind of questions and interesting thoughts and all of these things. Space travel, time travel, all of these things, man. All of these. You really want that? You really want a guy that's into Marvel? You really want a guy that wants to go see a particle accelerator? Stop the cap. No. Is it desperation or cap? I think it's all cap. See, they always want to give the socially acceptable answer in order to keep up appearances. If you like guys who have trouble uh, keeping, you know, their outfit on their waist. If you like a guy who, you know, doesn't look like he had a shower in days. That's your preference. That's fine. If you want a guy whose employment is either non-existent or shaky and couldn't understand for the life of him certain conversations about politics or anything more than what's going on in the neighborhood. If that's what you like and that's what you at, just be proud of it. Don't come over and, and start telling fantastic tales and fables about it. Stop the cap. You don't want a nerd. You don't want a guy that's corny. You don't want that. All my life, that was all considered weak. Can I tell you a quick story about Black Realm 313 that maybe you can relate to? I was a part of certain organizations at a certain time, um, not by choice. I had to in order to survive in my environment. Not proud of that. Unlike others who try to wear that as a badge of honor, uh, it was a great detriment to my life and as well as a risk to such, right? So that's not something to be proud of. Although, you know, your copy paste YouTubers and all of them, they're all proud of where they claim to come from. But for real, you really didn't want that smoke. I know I didn't. Anyway, so when I was involved in certain things, had a certain persona, you know, did certain things around the neighborhood that wasn't necessarily uh, pleasant. I got all the attention in the world. I had individuals walking up to me, not even uh, who I didn't even know their name, knew my name. 
I had a young lady say, hey, I sit to you in class, almost like in television. I sit to you and sit with you in this such and such class. I'm like, oh, I don't even know who you are. Knew my name, but I didn't know hers. Felt like a celebrity at, at one point. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as I decided to part ways and cease my thuggalicious ways, the attention went poof. I even had a young lady walk up to me at the time. She's maybe, she was maybe a year or two older than me. Very attractive in my neighborhood. And she just walked up to me and looked at me and laughed. And she said, get out of here with your school boy. A, you know the rest. So in her mind, it was, you know, a joke. It was funny. Comedic relief that I decided to finish high school and go to college. This was funny because it's so corny. It's so lame. It's so nerdy. So that was meant to be a put down. And I'll never forget that. And I sat there. I'm a young man. I'm about 18, 19 at the time. I was amazed. I'm like, wow. So I changed my life to preserve it. And it's funny. You're trying to give me a put down, denigrate, right? Because I decided that, hey, I want something more from my life than what's being offered in an environment around me. I want something better than that. I want to extend my lifespan. And that was laughable. Now, I'm a man. I'm not one of those individuals who is woe is me. She found it funny, but I found it even funnier that you don't have the mentality, the intellect. You don't have the wisdom, the wherewithal to look around your environment and even see that it's bad for you. That it's a waste. So I didn't feel bad about that because it's good when they reject you. That means I'm doing something right, not something wrong. See, I never wanted to follow the masses, right? I did for a time, right? But I never wanted to be uh, part of the crowd. I wanted to go in a different direction. So I was glad, proud, and thankful to get out of that environment and out of those situations. But there were individuals there in the neighborhood who thought it was funny. And from that point on, when I used to have, you know, my pick of the litter, so to speak, on the dating scene, right? I could be picky and be choosy because I had a lot of options on the dating scene. As soon as I changed my thuggalicious ways, those options went down to zero. And to this day, to this day in my Deontay Wilder voice, I have not been able to meet and date any lady from the west side of Chicago where I grew up. Mm -mm. Fingernails clean. That's a no-no. I wash up. Take a shower. <laughs> That's a no-no. Take care of myself. Got you no. Know, Employed, vehicle, that's a no-no. They only want dirty thuggo. And that's fine, have your preference. Mm -mm. Because the problem with us as guys, the problem with us as guys, the problem with us as guys is we think that all of them are worthy of your attention and worthy of your concentration. If you love thuggo, which I ain't saying there's anything wrong with that. That's your business. I don't even want you looking at me because I am not thuggo. Maybe in the past, but that's back there, man. I'm, I'm not living back there. That's the past. So if you like thuggo, stick with them. Stop the cap. You don't want a nerd. You don't want a corny guy. 
You don't want a guy who didn't have himself together. You don't want a guy that's reliable. That's boring, and that's fine. Being a responsible adult in America, in certain communities, is considered lame and boring. I'll take that. It's better than the alternative. Waking up in a cell, not having gainful employment. I'll take boring. I'll take my stable self somewhere else with that passport. I'll take my stable self somewhere else where I can be appreciated instead of laughed at and mocked. And even though I'm in my 40s, do you know that the same mentality is still pervasive in these communities and even outside of them? They still honor and love and want the irresponsible dude. And I'm saying that's fine. But don't talk mess to me because I'm trying to go to the Philippines. Don't talk mess to me because I want to go to Thailand. Don't talk mess to me because I want to go to Colombia. Don't talk mess to me because I want to see Japan where it's okay to be into science, where it's okay to be a science buff, where it's okay to like Marvel comics, where it's okay to like anime. It's fine there. We'll go around those who, you know, going to a place like Comic-Con um, is a, a great date or a great idea where a particle accelerator for a date is an awesome one instead of something that's uh, boring. I'll take that. So here's the thing. Stop the cap. Us thinking and intelligent men are going to stay in our lane and stay in yours with Thuggo and them. Stay in your lane. Stay in. Don't, don't try to cross over. Now you want to say corny and nerdy is preferred. What was that energy 10, 15, 20 years ago? Hmm? What was that energy then? None existed, huh? But now since you're older and got all these experiences, now you want some stability. Nah, 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 nah. Don't go for it, fellas. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Keep it moving. Find those who appreciate your nerdiness, your lameness, your corniness, and all of those things, right? Somebody that appreciates your stability, your work ethic, your discipline, your accomplishments. Find someone that can appreciate that. And don't fall for the cap, fellas. <laughs> wow. There's nothing that they won't say in this day. Nothing that they won't say. It's wild, man. But again, we're wiser than that. Don't fall for it. Black Ram 313, to share my thoughts in this therapy session. Looking at this camera, making sure I'm suited and booted. But yeah, man, just sharing some thoughts. Black Ram 313, I'm out.